So this lesson we're going to be doing a sum of the squares, so taking a range of values, or it can be one value, and then adding the square values together. So that square would be, in this case, 2 times 2, so that would equal 4. So this would be 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, and the total of that would be 55. We're doing a little bit of cleanup of the content. We're converting it into a string, so the default is if it's just got the one number, it's going to treat it as a number. So we want to be able to use the string methods in apps script. So that's where we're converting it to a string, and then we do a replace. We can do a split, which converts it into an array, and that allows us to loop through each one of the values within the range. Go ahead and open up the sheet. We've got some range values here. So we're going to first convert these into arrays, and then loop through the values of the arrays. And under the extensions app script, that's going to open up the script editor. And then this is where we can create our custom function. And this function is just going to be called sum of and squares. I'm just going to uppercase this. So it stands out. And typically when you are using a formula, you would uppercase it. So we need the one parameter, the one value is going to be the range that's coming in. And let's uh, create a sum here. And the sum is going to be the calculation. So starting at zero. And then we're going to return back the value of sum. So next put the formula in, going into the sheet, select the cell that you want to use the formula in, equal sign the name, and then within the rounded brackets, this is where we're adding in the range that we're using. So right now it should all be returning back the same value, which is zero because we're not doing anything for sum. So we want to actually convert this into a usable value where we can get the values from the range. And right now these are string values. So we want to take these string values and we want to convert them into an array. So let's create our array. And that's going to be the array of values. So take the range, which is a string right now. And we're going to do a split of it and splitting it by comma separation. And we can also try to return back the array. And then going back out here. So now it's going to be outputting the value of the array. So that's going to be throwing an error because the array values are not easily to output. It needs more rows than this. Uh, so if we got rid of these ones, it would output these values, but it outputs them into separate values there, separate columns there. Um, so we want to loop through each one of these and clean this up a bit. So we want to trim it as well and update it and output it as a string. Mm -hmm. So we could also do a JSON stringify to stringify the array values. And just in this case, as we're outputting them. So that will output those values within a string. I want to clean that up where, so we've got some extra spacing between the seven there. So we can clean that up as we loop through the values of the string. So to remove the white space from the range, we can set the range. And then this is where we can do a replace. And replacing out any of those blank characters. So if we have any blank characters, we replace it and just remove it out. So that will clean up some of the content that we have there, removing out any of the excess spacing. So let's use the regular expression, which is going to take any of the spaces and removing it. And I'll see what that does for cleaning it up. So that removed out those excess spaces. And we also might want to do a trim of those to remove out any extra spaces before and after so that really cleans up those arrays that's being output. And of course, we don't have to return it as JSON because we want to make use of the contents of the array. We want to loop through each one of those array items and then apply the custom square formula to that. So as we loop through and then return back the value, and then once we have the value, we can take sum and we can add to the sum so we'll take the value and multiply it by itself. So it's going to give us the square of the value. And here we want to return back whatever we've got for the value of sum for this calculation. 
So give it a second to reload and that's returning back the squares of all of the numbers in the range. So if you just had a value of two, it would just return back whatever the square value of it is. And actually, let me drag this formula down. So it's returning back an error because this is not seeing it as an array. So let's do a two and a three. So that's taking those values. So what we want to do as well, we want to check to see if the value is an array, if we can split it. So the reason we're throwing an error there on the single character is that sheets automatically will take a single character. And even though it's a, uh, these ones are seen as strings, this one is seen as a number. So we're not able to spray the string methods. So the way to fix that is to make sure that the range is a string, and then you can use the string methods in order to make the calculations. So once you've converted it into a string and you've saved it, and now it should be working once it's got the new formula loading. So you can have it with just the one cell value, and as long as it's taking it and using it as a string, you can use the string methods within the Google Apps script.